This me. I, I spent quite a lot of time with this, and thankfully I did cut most of it out. Um, trying to figure out a strategy to take down these two fuckers. So I was thinking, maybe I take out the heavy first. But nope, flippy guy just runs in straight away. Um, if, if only I had like a, a very powerful weapon like a Thompson to blow these fuckers away. It would be really nice. Try it again. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this works. Oh, I'm really. now shooting through the man because I'm too close to him. I'm sorry, what? Oh, two against one, that's unfair. Oh, yes, Paul. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we were on one HP as we defeated the two ar arms coming out of the wall. We picked up a the second piece of parchment that was a, a clue down to the puzzle next door. We put a crown on a bust's head and went to the next room, we picked up a uh, dream catcher and we got transported to the next floor. So now you're you're, cut, you're fully caught up. Okay. I hope that explains everything. So, yeah, okay, yeah, two against one seems like it's gonna be even fucking worse now. Yes, indeed it is. Although I'm actually getting some, I was getting somewhere there because the guy was getting stuck in the door frame. So yeah, because the the guy in the white suit is obviously an acrobat, so like he's uh, so hard to hit, you have to do just kind of like blow him away, basically. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know it's 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 just so bad. I mean, it's just awful. Yeah. Imagine having to play it, okay? I just want to state that. You know, play, pushing the off button is a vile tactic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, here we go. Okay, so what happens here is, right, there's a chest there, right, and if you went to it, it would say it was locked. Or it was like, it was some... Right? This is the bullshit part, because it said it was locked once upon a time, and then suddenly, oh, chest opens, here's your Thompson. And I can blow this motherfucker away now. Yeah, you like, go. it's still an automatic weapon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, enemies have some, enemies have some sort of aim, and you don't. I, I did learn that uh, lesson very quickly. All right. Mm. There we go. And that was. <laughs> That was a that was a very necessary save, by the way, because I think I cut out about ten or fifteen minutes of that section. Did we win? <laughs> yes, yes, we won, Aiden. We won. Well, we won one skirmish of many. Yes. Still, a drink. Mhm. Mm and then we have like quite a lot of health, in fairness, like. Considering that, like, about 10 minutes ago we were at 1 HP. So, I'm, I'm quite happy with this. So you see there is a jack-in-the-box. Uh, you, can, you can just about see it in the distance there. Uh, again, the watcher was kind of betraying me here because I didn't actually call it a jack-in-the-box. I called it something else. And uh, it called it like a one-eyed jack, I think it was. So... Uh, once I figure out what that's what the watcher actually meant, then we can proceed in the game. Clearly a pirate. I guess so. Like it's, I found it hard to tell from the graphics, even when I was playing. Uh, but granted, I was kind of playing in a really small window, so I couldn't even, couldn't really see it as well as you guys now can. They go for one eye jack or something. You assume that that's a pirate enemy. Yeah, exactly. Or like, uh, well, like, I always thought a one eye jack was like one of the like, uh, fucking um, slot machines. But. Nevertheless. Oh, 
Oh. Yep, it spits out a pom pom. So, might be curious to want curious in asking. Hey. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why? Um, why is because that clown from the opening cutscene is next door. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. What? Yes, the evil clown. How would you already? How would you already kill him? No, no, we didn't. <laughs> Maybe that was a guy that just looked an awful life like a clown. Maybe, yeah. But then again, you're, you're the one, you know, going around doing a massacre. Who? Dressed as Santa. Oh, jeez, that is menacing. Okay, so what you do, do, do is... Do we, you... we not fight this thing's purple ghost? No. No, we didn't. Uh, there's snakes in that room, okay? So what you've done is, you basically got the clown to go and pick up his pom pom, and he's going to get bitten by snakes. Ah, there you go. He's dead. Oh, that was easy. Yeah, unbearably easy, I'd say. If you if you know that bizarre train of logic to do. Exactly. And this is what this game is. It's just one big bizarre line of logic that, like, it just doesn't resonate at any point. So you can't quite can see down. there. Yeah. So the snakes are now, like, gravitating towards the pom pom. So what you've done is essentially, like, distracted both the snakes and the clown at the same time. But why the pom pom? Because it's the clown's pom pom, apparently. <laughs> I know. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. This is some fucking great age logic. <laughs> and uh, we've just gone down the chimney, by the way. Ah! Uh... You do. Holy oh, hell! Got... This, this this really is a Christmas massacre. I don't. Yeah. I don't think the suit is working. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, but, do you know what does work? A grenade. Hey! <laughs> yeah, Holy man. fuck! Yeah. Like, you had no idea they'd be down there. Right then and there. Well, so this is all- This actively demands you save scum. But, yeah, I guess so. Like, he could have gone into this room downstairs and you'd know that there was tons of people in here. Actually, but... how do we know you've even got them? You're being shot at. Mm. There's actually one guy, there's two guys left. You'll, there's actually five in the room initially. Yeah, that matters I... when... <laughs> like that fucking matters when they've all have tummy guns. Yeah, true. Really sick, I... but... By the way, a glitch happens here where the loads, the load game puts me in the room instead of upstairs. Alright. Uh, right? right? That's not good. And you notice that Carnby is now like being like he's not on the man's shoulder either. So the game kind of like fucks up a bit like, at this point. It's clear. It's very clear. Like three of them survived. You're you're, you're kind of this is the doom save file. Like you're against three guys with Tommy guns. Mm. How you made it this far? I don't know. I I I'm I'm actually shocked myself. Like especially now that the game is essentially like. Bugging itself into oblivion <laughs> with this. Yeah, I guess. It's the best way, good way of putting it. Ah, uh, terrible. So my plan here was to kind of get him out in the open, which would make me easier to aim. But as you can see, that plan did not work. Like to kettle him in the doorway, and then I could shoot him that way. But the camera switched, so that fucked everything up. But the camera angles are awful. They are terrible, and they're so hard to play with as well. Like, don't worry, like, this game just plays so badly. Like, in every sense of the word. Shoot, shoot! Shoot those bullets! Like, look at this! How terrible is this? That uh, people can't shoot over, shoot over a kitchen counter? Not over kitchen encounter, but the fact that like I had to wait for the guy to walk in in front in my shoot firing line because the other guy hadn't stopped his death animation. 
Terrible Pretty stuff. Hit. Yeah. Not gonna lie, John. Alone in the dark, illumination's looking pretty good. <laughs> in fairness, yeah. you, you're you're not wrong with that. Like, uh, this is this is very much a point in their camp, really, at the minute. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah. Like this is what I couldn't like when I was even playing this right, and after playing the first game and waxing lyrical over how deadly it was, about how it got like it nailed the balance between fucking like right kind of action, clumsy platforming, and just like really good plot. How do you fuck that up so quickly in one game? Like, how do you negate Execu cancel executive meddling? <sighs> money. No, but that's the thing. It's not or lack money. of thereof. <laughs> it, it wasn't money though. That was it. Like, it was purely because they didn't realize how what they had. They thought that action was the way to go when they had to go the opposite way and make it more like mysterious and Lovecraftian. They went the completely wrong direction, and that's what's so sad. Is that like. This could have been a much more prominent series, but they just fucked it up because he had no idea what they were doing. This is all speculative. I, I, I'm still inclined to think executive meddling. I hope so. If it was, if it was executive meddling, I'd at least accept that. I just think it's the original creators not knowing what the fuck they were doing. Wow, it's a pretty good game. Can I see? Can I see the code for it? <laughs> I just no. want to make a few changes. <laughs> they just types and go, ah, done. <laughs> Wait, you want to make this about zombie pirates? Yes. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. Mhm. Mm yeah. Now I know what you're thinking. <laughs> but yes, that that, that just your, your footsteps are suddenly very loud. Yeah. On the carpet. Okay, so what's behind this door? Oh, mention. We're in a prison cell. Hey, look! By the horn of Beelzebub. It's one eye Jack, lads. Was hey! And now we get to hear his backstory with some class music behind it. I will say the art is kind of cool here. Looks yeah. good. And technically, this is a cutscene, so you know, not a first for Long the Dark. The cries of pain fill the air like the most glorious of hymns. Amen. The captain, one Nichols, told me to go to the picture's right. He died cursing me. You will die by my sword, Jack. Big boss. I mean, Jack. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> same person. <laughs> I mean, Kiefer Sutherland. Ship, the flying Dutchman. My lieutenants greedily burst the locks of the hold. <laughs> Come on, in you go. Disappointed with the loot, but I knew we had taken the finest of all treasures. Goth lady in the back. Mm. Thought. <laughs> this is Elizabeth oh, Jarrett, by the way. <gasps> she's a siren. Or yes. Maybe. Is she? No, no, that, that is, no, well done, Aiden. That's exactly what she is. I signed the pact, and so did my men. The Dutchman was ours. From then on, thousands of legends were being told about the flying Dutchman. We hid here in 1824, but the cliff collapsed on our ship. So these are the same scenes and from the so opening credits, but now Jack has given us the context to it. And we named our Goki. conquest Hell's Kitchen. Yar. A land with no past offered itself to us to guarantee our future. We built our mansion, and since then, we reign undisputedly as shiny robots. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, look. The fuck? That's Grace. 
She's done a runner because Jack was uh, talking too much. So Jack's gonna have a go. Good look at look. Go have a go at finding Grace. Okay. Now, not only does his voice not to his body, but his fucking. Yep. His body model is different to the cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what they're like, going with. Those with the are, green it's skin. like those are my younger days. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've since put on a bit of weight and ten seconds you know, ago, <laughs> I put on a bit I, of I, weight, I, lost me hair, you know. You understand? Listen, listen like, can you say the days they're talking about, and this is during nineteen twenties prohibition. About that, yeah. Yeah, so like they haven't been active sailors in over a century. It, two centuries, I'd say. Like, this is often like yeah. 1700s, so yeah. They're well out of work. You can't blame them for being out of shape, like. Like, I mean. Presumably, their pact involved no. them having to, like, stick around near their ship, otherwise, they would have, you know, probably got another ship and. John, how the yeah. fuck did you do that? Don't how the hell it. did you get out of that? What? No! No! Well, I will worry about it! No. How the <laughs> hell did you do that? He picked the lock with the with his hook. With the hook, yeah. Come on, This man. is like distilling. <laughs> Distilling seawater with the sun <laughs> in the pot <laughs> to make fresh water. Yeah, <laughs> come on, man. What's what's your problem with this? I don't understand. Like, why are you still wearing that? That requires a fundamental like absence of logic. Why are you still wearing the Santa suit? Because it's Christmas. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Maybe no, that's it. No, seriously, that it is Christmas. It's part of the plot. Oh. Because oh. every every year, that's Elizabeth Jarrett, by the way. I still hit it. So uh -oh. every year, every year, these guys have to renew their pact with the voodoo mistress, which is her, in order to keep to keep being uh -oh. immortal, right? She's what the fuck's going on? She is possessed us. Oh. We're being forced choked. Yeah, and there we go. We're in prison. We're being led away. She is and literally taking the e-books out of us. <laughs> a dirty thought. <laughs> and get this: we now get to play as a little girl. Ah, oh, here. This is just Resident Evil 2, except before it, before it's before it's time though. Uh. And see, look at uh, the teddy bear. Teddy bear, yeah. Mm. So yeah, as I was saying, it's kind of a happy coincidence that Carnby is here, right? Because every year on Christmas Day, because that's when the initial pact was made of immortality, every year or two years, whatever it is, they renew their pact. In order to keep themselves immortal, so now ah. suddenly Carnby is here on the scene and is killing them all. So, as I said, in for a penny, in for a pound. So Carnby's taking his chance to essentially kill them all off for good by breaking the voodoo uh, chain, essentially. But in order to do that, we have to get this girl um, to break herself first. So what's going so to happen what? here is, sorry, go ahead, Paul. Oh uh, yeah, it's going to like, so hang on. Do they have to, like, murder a little girl or just murder somebody? No, what's going to happen is, right, Carnby has been led away into onto the ship that they have, like, docked at the bay, which is their old pirate ship, right? So what we're going to do as Grace is we're going to basically sneak on board and help Carnby, right? But we have to basically don't not get caught. So this is essentially a stealth uh, level. Um, But like I said, it's... It's not adequately explained what you're doing because, like, you're basically down playing this grace and you can see that carnby has been taken away. Uh, if you get caught by one of the guards, you basically just get said, ha, found you, and then you get, like, a kind of a similar game over screen. But it's with Carnby instead. Oh. Yeah. So <laughs> nothing, nothing, bad happen nothing bad happens to Grace, just to be clear. It's just that your um, Carnby is just, like, killed off, essentially. <laughs> this game, man. I know. This game. <laughs> so just to prove the point, there's Carnby hanging. What the? What the fuck? So that's it, huh? <laughs> yeah. That, that, they lynch him. <laughs> they lynch. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um. So yeah, you as Grace has to find a way onto the ship to help Carnby. And again, 
nothing was really adequately explained in this section. Um, so, got there in the end, though. Um, unfortunately, this level does kind of take a while by virtue of the fact that she takes so, like, long to move. Because she's so small, like, she, like, her speed is, like, half of what Carnby is, even when she's running. 